to the channel welcome back to miss glow glow and the motivators i'm back with another video this morning back with another spiritual motivational video uh today i want to read the verse of the day and then i want to read the devotion of the day and i want to read the devotion of for yesterday because i didn't do that so let me pull up the verse of the day verse of the day how's everybody doing today happy tuesday to everybody and happy new year to those that i have not um said happy new year to so yeah this is just a spiritual morning motivational video i'm gonna let you guys know it is so early in the morning like it's still dark outside very dark oh <sighs> I got to start talking to the Lord and uh, waiting on an answer to see where he's going to take me for 2023. But regardless, I definitely am ready to be, um, I'm ready to find me another church home. And it just seemed like this ain't working here in Texas. It, it, it's hard for me to get around and do anything, so... I'm just being real honest and legit. Um, I don't know. We're going to see. So right now, I'm still with my church that I belong to virtually. You know, I watch them online. Okay. So, mm, the verse of the day is coming from Isaiah 55 and 9. And it reads as thus. Whereas the heavens are higher than the earth. So are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. That's Isaiah 55 and 9. God is letting us know that just like the heavens is higher than the earth, He letting us know that His ways is higher than our ways, and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So His ways is not like my ways, and my thoughts is not like His thoughts. We know. But the inspiration says we have our ideals, aspiration, and goals. We use our experience and knowledge to make plans and put them into action. And we often realize how much we don't, how much we don't know. Our minds can only hold so much. Our eyes can only see so far. But thankfully, we serve a God whose mind and sight know no such bounds. That is so true. We serve a God whose mind and eyes have no no limitation, no limited views, no bounds. They everywhere, all the time, and they're the same every day. Once again, the verse of the day is coming from Isaiah 55 9, and the devotion, the title is Love and All. May we be able to see the image of God in those we meet. May we be able to see the image of those in God we meet. And guess what? That is coming from Ephesians 3, 1 and 4, and then chapter 6. May the Lord let his word be a blessing to the readers here. Do I keep fixing this bra, y'all? I don't know. Maybe it's the camera, but it's looking crooked, lopsided. It's probably the camera. I don't know. <laughs> I ain't worried about that. I ain't even focusing on that. So... I have the coldest water bottle in the house with the cold water in it, of course. Let's take a drink so we can pray. And invite the Lord on here before we start this devotion lesson. Dear Lord, it's me again, Lord. Glory and goodbye. Thank you for helping me to sleep through the night and waking me up to this beautiful morning. Lord, I pray that you teach me. To love my life with each passing day. Fill my heart with your joy and gladness. And remind me of all the things, God, in my life to be thankful for. When I thoughts, when thoughts of negativity begin to fill my mind, please, Lord, remind me that you love me. When I begin to feel helpless and hopeless, please remind me that you got me, God. When I feel like I hate my life, please remind me that you created me for a purpose, Lord. Mold and guide me to your purpose. 
for me because I trust that your plan for me are better than anything I could ever, ever ask for. Lord, I thank you for my family this morning, each and every member of them. Lord, you know them all name by name. I thank you for my subscribers, all my friends, neighbors, co-workers. I even thank you for my enemies. And God, I ask that you bless us all according to your will. Lord, you said every day you give us a new grace and a mercy. And I thank you for your new grace and mercy that follows me every day, Lord, that covers my life with the blood of Jesus. I thank you, God. And Lord, I ask that you order our footsteps in your word today, God. And Lord, I ask that you take out all the things in me that's not right. Anything in me that offends you, God, take it out, Lord. Create within me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me, Lord. Wash me, and I shall be clean. Purge me, Lord, and I shall be whiter than snow. God, I need your help. Without you, I can't do nothing. Without you, I am a failure, Lord. And I need you in my life. I need you to cover every area of my life in the blood of Jesus, from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Lord, I need you to do a, a change within me. I need you to wash me from the inside out, the outside in. Hallelujah, Jesus. And make me to be what you want me to be. And Lord, I ask these prayers in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Yes, yeah, so the, the, uh, we're going to be reading a devotion today. Y'all like my little wig? I decided to pull out a wig. I just didn't feel like putting no stuff in my hair. For one thing, I got to go get me a, a texturizer. Because I, now that I got my hair wet and soften up, now it's time for me to um, actually go ahead and texturize it so I can start breaking it down so the really good curly patterns could go on and come and be in there now. Okay? So let's read. It the, to the topic is the path of life. The path of life. And it's coming from actually Psalms 25. The path of life. And let's read Psalms 25. I don't know if I'm going to even do another video today. So, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm not I'm not totally sure. I can't say. I don't want to lie and I won't have to repent for lying. But I'm not sure. Yesterday, I suppose we did a, a mook bomb. I wanted to. But let me tell y'all what happened. I had made ham hops, black eyed peas, uh, asparagus and some that was it because I didn't do no bread that food made me so sick it wasn't the black eyed peas because I ended up just eating the black eyed peas and asparagus the ham hops because I told y'all I'm transitioning from pork I really don't hardly ever eat pork if I do it I always end up in a neck bone or a pig feet and I'm, I'm, I'm getting away from them you know so I'm not even buying that kind of stuff no more but it really made me sick and it, to me that was a confirmation that the Lord was letting me know that I was making the right choice. So I decided, I don't know if I want to try to do keto for seven days. Because keto have too many calories to me. You know, and one thing I know doctors tell you, they be strictly on your calorie intake when you trying to lose weight. So I don't know if I want to do keto. And I'm thinking about trying to do that military diet again for, you know, like a couple of weeks. <coughs> But you know, with the military diet, you are doing three days on, and yeah, three days on, I think four days out for something like that. And I did that, and I have lost up to like 10 pounds a week doing that. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to jumpstart my weight loss and my metabolism back quick. So, and I know that keto do jumpstart your metabolism real quick, but I'm just thinking all them calories. Because the calorie thing it did, I went on and I signed up for one, and it gave me a, a calorie plan. And it was like 2,800 to something. I said, oh, no, I'm not doing it. That's a lot of stuff to be trying to find and eat to get all them calories a day. Because first of all, I don't eat like that. I, yeah, I already know I do not eat a lot of food. So <clears throat> I ain't going to do that. But uh, we're going to go ahead and read this word. Because I I feel like I want to talk to y'all today. You know, I feel like I should have went live and just talked to y'all. Now I could have got some input, but I figured everybody was asleep or something, you know. So let's go ahead and read Psalms 25. 
This particular psalm is a prayer for defense, a prayer for guidance, and a prayer for pardon. Pardon. Like, pardon me, please. Okay? As we trust in God, he grants these same requests to us. So this was a prayer that David had wrote. He was, he was praying for defense, guidance, and pardon to God. Okay? So let's get here. Let's jump into it. And it read us this. Psalms 25, we're starting at the first verse. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. And let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Show me thy ways, O Lord. That's what I'm saying to God. Show me thy ways. Teach me your path, Lord, so I can take the right path. Lead me in your truth, God, and teach me, God, for thou art the God of my salvation, and on thee do I wait all day long, Lord. I wait on you, Lord. I trust in you, Lord. So I want you to show me your ways. I want you to teach me your paths, Lord. I want you to lead me into all of your truth, God. Yes. It's the sixth verse. Say, remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have ever been of old. Remember not the sins of my youth. Lord, don't remember the things I done when I was a child. That's why every time I pray, I ask God to forgive me for my secret sins. Forgive me even for the sins when I was a youth. That's how we have to ask God to forgive us. Because we all have something that is yet hidden in our heart that's a sin. Unless you don't openly confess it to God, Unless you don't openly confess it with Christ, believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that he was born by the Virgin Mary, born in the form of flesh, crucified and rose again, then your sins are not forgiven. Okay? It say, remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sakes, O Lord. Hallelujah. And it said, according to thy mercy, God, according to your mercy, Lord, remember me. Hallelujah. Remember me, God. Oh, and then it said, good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he will teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy. Hmm. This, uh, this is right here. Listen to this. All the paths which mean all the roads of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant for his testimony. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquities, Lord. For your name's sake, God, Father God, pardon my iniquities. Hallelujah. For it is great. Mm, yes, Lord. What man is he that feared the Lord? Him. Shall he teach in the way that he shall choose? His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. It said that his secret, it said that the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. Do you fear the Lord? It said that he will show them his covenant. God will show you great and mighty things. Verse 15. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thee unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged, God. Oh, bring me, oh, bring thou me out of my distress. Bring me out of my distress, Lord. Look upon my affliction and my pain, God, and forgive all of my sins. Hallelujah. Forgive all of my sins, Lord. Look upon my affliction and my pain. And then, God, please forgive me for all of my sins. <laughs> Consider my enemies, for they are many, God. They hate me with a cruel hatred. My enemy is Satan, 
and there's many of them. The devil, legions, is many of them. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, God, for I put my trust in thee. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee, God. <laughs> Redeem Israel, O oh God, out of all his troubles. Talking about the path of life that we should root and ground in God. That is what this daily devotion is. The path of life. The path we should take is the Lord path. The Lord path. The Lord. And what did the Lord say his path is? Hmm. 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 He said all the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth. Mercy and truth. And then he said, and unto such as keep his covenant and his testimony. Mercy and truth. Then the footnotes down here say, we are bombarded today with unlimited appeals to go my way. Television advertising alone places hundreds of options before us in addition to appeals made by political parties, cuts, false religions, dozens of other groups, numerous organizations, including Christian organizations, seek to motivate us to support the cause and add to that dozens of decisions we must make concerning our job, our families, our money, our society, and we become desperate so someone to show us the right way. If you find yourself pulled in several directions, remember that the meek will he teach his way. Remember that if you, listen, follow all the paths of the Lord, they are mercy and truth. God will teach you if you want to be kept. And then it also tells us right here that to fear the Lord is to recognize him. To recognize him for who he is. Holy, almighty, righteous, he's pure, all-knowing, he's all-powerful, and he's all-wise. And when we see God in this light, we also ourselves for who we are. Sinful. When we see God for what He is, then we will see ourselves for who we are. We are sinful, weak, frail, and needy. Full of words. Sinful, weak, frail, and needy. That's what we are. We. And then it says, when we recognize God for who He is and ourselves for who we are, we will fall at his feet in a humble respect. Only there can he teach us how to choose his way. God will teach you. He will teach you. He will show you his ways. He will lead you into his truth. He will teach you his path. He'll teach you what path to take. I know that life get hard sometimes. And sometimes we get confused. But God is there. He's right there. Remember, he's not the author of confusion. That's the devil. He's right there. He want to teach us the right way. He want to, 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 to teach us his path. You know, he, he just want to help us. So he want us to wait on him, to believe him. Then it says the future is an untraveled trail with complex twists and turns. Appealing activities can be detours that lead away from the Lord. That is so true. Appealing activities can be detours that lead away from the Lord. And I say that is true because I know it's true because when I really, really, really was dealing with a drinking problem, at one time in my life, I had a, a really, really, really big drinking problem. And every time I decided to stop, 
Here comes somebody. Sway me to do it. Because they first of all, it's temptation. Second of all, I know that whenever you're trying to leave something alone that's not good for you, baby, the, the Bible says, and I don't know the exact scripture says, when you repent of something and you give that thing up, Yes. What I was saying is if you repent of something and then you go fall back into that sin that you repented from, it comes and when it come back, it brings seven other spirits more wicked than the one that was already in you. And if you want to read about that, read Matthew 12, 45. Thank you, God. Sorry about that. Let him lead you in his path and let him lead you into all truth. Okay. God got you. He, he don't want you to stumble. He don't want you to stumble and fall. He wants you to, to, to walk on that path. Keep your head up. Look into the hill from which come at your help. Because I all come from the Lord. I love you. Thank you for watching. Remember, we are all under one God, one nation, one love. Peace we have because Jesus left it here with us. I love you guys. And remember that God loves us all so much that he gave his only begotten son so that we may live and live eternally. I love you. Remember, God is an eternal God. He's an eternal God. And he loves us. And he wants us to love him with all our heart, mind, body, and soul. Happy Tuesday. Thank God for you guys. Happy New Year. Have a blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video if you haven't. Leave me a comment down below. Thumbs up the video. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel or my other channel, Miss Glow Glow Spiritual Motivation, go on over there and uh, join that family. I love you guys, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.